I ask you to send me a picture of whatever you use to hold your mailbox up. Well, you wouldn't believe the flood of plows and washing machines and old riding mowers that came in. Jack Law of Pearson, Iowa, writes that for 15 years he has used a 1936 Model A John Deere tractor to hold his mailbox up. He says it's become something of a landmark around here. I bet it has. Some people build their mailboxes to look just like their houses. Not content with that, the Kelsos of Brookville, Pennsylvania, Jefferson County, put up the Jefferson County Courthouse itself and use that for a mailbox. I think maybe the Kelsos win in this category. Bill Foose of Quincy, Illinois, taking mailbox pictures for years, and he sent us part of his collection. This is an Iowa optimist. He expects more good news than bad news. Here's an Iowa pessimist. Papers go in the stovepipe on this mailbox. Bills go down here in the stove. But I think in the two mailbox category, my favorite might be this one sent by B.B. Rosecrans of Camden, New York. Summer, winter. The snow gets pretty heavy sometimes in Camden, New York. This is Johansson of Jasper, Minnesota, said her husband, Kurt, built this one in his shop out of machinery that had accumulated around the place. And a lot of them seem to have been born that way. Arizona Roadrunner. Iowa Bug. Louisiana Tin Man. Built by Jenny Dowdy's husband from sheet metal from a cotton gin. I like the Tin Man. He must cheer up everybody who passes that way. Here's a motorized mailbox in Illinois. Pedal power in Missouri. Some mailboxes are just a shade seductive. This one's in Maine. This one's in Florida. Oklahoma covered wagon mailbox. California stagecoach mailbox. Norman Fell even sent instructions for how to build this one. Just get yourself a big block of wood, he said, and cut away everything that doesn't look like a stagecoach. Many a citizen seized by the same impulse has put up an airmail box to go with the regular box. Ivy-covered poles, some of them have. Candy-striped. The halls of Star Route, Leonardtown, Maryland, appear to have America's tallest airmail box, put up, they say, by their 16-year-old son. Which brings us at last to the mailbox of Grover Nub Hayes of Route 1, Cherokee, Alabama. People wrote to me and said, you have to come see Nub Hayes' mailbox. So we did. Mr. Hayes lives on a steep hill above Rose Trail Road. Down on the highway, his mailbox just sits there. It's not mounted on anything cute. It sits there until Mr. Hayes is ready to read his mail. Four, three, two, one. Lift off. Up Nub Hayes' mailbox goes into the Alabama sky. Up to a junction at the top of a pole. And then across Rose Trail Road, ever climbing. With Mr. Hayes himself cranking a crank that used to be part of an old Chevrolet. I've walked down the hill 40 years to get the mail. So now I'll make the mailbox come to me. So let's give the Great American Mailbox Prize to Grover Nub Hayes. The mailman merely delivers the mail. Mr. Hayes figured out a way to deliver the mailbox. 